Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ordi Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ordi Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ordi Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ordi Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom 
when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. 
Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. 
please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. 
please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. and call and please please answer if your name is called Jacob Brooks
to it. Kelly Cousineau? Yes, I'm here. Alex Georges? Joseph Sprague. <coughs> Terry, who are you, you here on? Mr. Bills, yes. Mr. Bills? Bills, Dagan Bills. Good to you here. Um, Ready to take it if it's ready. Uh, you're on this is an infraction. Please moving. Infraction at 150 and dismiss the. Objection, Your Honor. So you see, uh, finding committed $150 upon payment, that case is closed, so no insurance debts dismissed. Um, payment in 30 days, Mr. Terry? Yes, Your Honor, that'll go work. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Any others you'd like to take out of order? <laughs> take uh, the Shelly Cousineau matter. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Hear me all right? Yes, sir. Hey. Shelley Cousineau? Yes. Date of birth? 6 <clears throat> I'm going to go through the rights at arraignment and everyone in the invited to call. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I'm going to go Could you repeat that, please? I'm going to go through the point. Oh, darn. Our connection's kind of bad. Um, Here you go. You are charged with a criminal offense that carries a possible jail sentence. You should understand you have the following rights. You presume innocent of any charge unless that charge is proven beyond a reasonable doubt. You have a right to a speedy trial. You are held in jail before trial. You must be brought to trial within 60 days of your commencement date. If you're released from jail, you must be brought to trial within 90 days of your commencement date. You have a constitutional right to a jury trial unless you specifically give up that right by signing a jury trial waiver. You have the right to see, hear, and question all witnesses who testify against you. You have the right to call witnesses on your own behalf. You may have the court subpoena those witnesses to appear and testify at no prior expense to you. You have the right to testify on your own behalf. You also have the right to remain silent and not give any testimony or present any evidence in your defense. Your silence cannot be used against you. You have the right to be represented by an attorney of your own choosing at arraignment and at all proceedings. If after your screening it is determined you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. Even though you do not have an attorney at arraignment, you do not waive your right to have an attorney at any later proceeding. For those of you who do have questions today, Mr. Rusnick is our standby counsel, and he can answer those questions for you. If you feel you cannot have a fair trial because of the bias or prejudice of a particular judge, you have the right to ask for a different judge within 10 days of assignment to that judge. You are only entitled to one change of judge. 
You have the right of appeal from any judgment of guilty entered by this court. To begin the appeal, you must file a written notice of appeal in this court within 30 days of the judgment. If you plead guilty, you give up or waive all the rights listed above except for the right to be represented by an attorney. If you are not a citizen of the United States, a plea of guilty to an offense punishable as a crime of state law may be grounds for deportation, exclusion from admission to the United States, or denial of naturalization pursuant to the laws of the United States. Ms. Cousineau, did you understand those rights? Yes, sir. All right. I do. You're charged by the city of Ording that on or about uh, May 8, 2020, in Ording, Washington, that you committed the crime of assault in the fourth degree domestic violence. To that charge, a plea of not guilty is entered. Further formal readings hereby waive and probable cause is established. Um, before I go any further, are, um, are you currently employed, ma'am? No, sir. Um, and what is, do you make a monthly income of any sort? No, sir. All right, I am going to direct appoint Mr. Resnick as your attorney. Okay. All right, and uh, Mr. Walls, uh, any conditions of release? Uh, Your Honor, the city would ask for a no contact order. Um, this, he has a pending felony domestic violence charge. I was trying to confirm who the victim was there, but uh, regardless, he's asking for a no contact order. And that's uh, Savannah Tusino Coombs. Combs. Yes, sir. That's my that's my daughter, sir. All right. Uh, do you live with her? Uh, no, but I see her quite frequently. She's expecting my grandchild. <clears throat> Anything at this point, Mr. Resnick? No objection. When's your uh, When's your grandbaby due? Um, September 11th or 10th. Oh, okay. no objection. I was going to say <laughs> birth was imminent. I'd ask for an exception for the birth of the child, but that's not really relevant here. <clears throat> yes, I, I see her quite frequently. She helps me out quite a bit, and so that would be that would be a grave uh, disability if I was not able to see her. But <clears throat> I'm sorry. Are you still there? Yes, we're my we're. Phone, my, phone, um, my phone keeps cutting out. I just didn't want to. Thought I lost you. Maybe. There's a little option at the top of your screen to change it to from low data mode to standard mode. Oh, I don't see that. I, my phone's kind of kind of been honking out on me lately, so I I'll just leave it like that. But um, for, <laughs> I'm afraid if I go to that other screen, it'll disconnect or something. So. Thank you, though. <clears throat> yeah, she's my only daughter. My only child. <clears throat> She's really all I have in this whole world. <laughs> So I would appreciate anything you can do, Your Honor. So I am going to release her on your own personal cognizance. Conditions of release are going to make all court appearances. Uh, the next court appearance is going to be set. Uh, what is the next one on uh, 30 days from here? Or okay. So we're going to set this for um, April 6th, 2021 at 10 o'clock a.m. Make all court appearances, notify of any address change, have no law violations. And at this point, um, because of the uh, uh, of your current situation uh, and criminal history, I am going to enter the no contact order. 
preventing you from having contact with your daughter at this point. Cannot uh, contact by person, directly, indirectly, um, through third parties. You cannot obtain, own, or possess or control a firearm at this point. Uh, and I am going to enter that restraining order or that domestic violence no contact order at this time. Uh, and your honor, in light of the fact that the, the amount of time that's passed since this incident, I wouldn't object to saying this in two weeks to, uh, to review the NCO. Are, are it, you, in two weeks, review it? Yeah. So you want to set this for two weeks from today? Right. All right. We will reset this for two weeks, and that will be on March 16th in instead of March, uh, April 6th. Instead of, okay, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. Sooner. All right. I have signed that order. And what is your address? Uh, has your address changed since uh, we last saw you? Yes. I'm virtually just staying with friends right now. I don't really have an address. Your Honor. Oh, an address where to send things to. Is it the uh, PO? Well, well. Is it the PO Box one five five seven Ording? Yeah, I don't get my mail there anymore. Um, the people that live there throw my mail away, so I don't. I've not even gotten any mail. So, so, so um, we, I'm not sure. Here. Can I use my email address? Is that possible? Uh, no, we need an address where we can send you the copy of the orders. Um. I'm going to have to, can you send it on behalf of my attorney then? I'm sorry, I, I just don't have an address right now. I'm working on getting a well, PO box somewhere, but. Your attorney is also going to need to know your number and address in order to get a hold of you. Right. So I've got the phone number, but I'm sorry. It's, I, I was in the hospital multiple times. I just don't have an address. I don't have an address right now. All right. Well, um, but I'm working. On, there's nothing I can do about it right this very second. What's your phone number? It's 253. <clears throat> Six eight two eight six four one. And the email address? It's um Gemini so G E M I N I eight three one eight at hotmail dot com. All right, we'll send out the orders. Thank you. You're okay, done for okay. we're done. Okay. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alex Georges. Go ahead and come here to the middle table. Is it, it is George's? George's, yes. All right, Mr. George's, were you here a few minutes ago when I read the rights in the courtroom? Yes. And did you understand those rights as I read them? Yeah. Are, are, there, are there any you'd like to go over at this time? I don't think so. All right. You're charged by the city of Ording that on or about uh, February 20th, 2021, in Ording, Washington, that you committed the crime of driving while license suspended in the third degree. To that charge, a plea of not guilty is entered. Further formal readings hereby waive and probable cause is established based on the probable cause statement. Um, there is a infraction I will track with this case. Um, tell me, do you know what it will take to get your license back at this point? Uh, no. It looks like the, the there's a Puyallup infraction. That's and that's it, and a reissue fee probably. Right. And so if you go to Puyallup Municipal Court uh, and set it, either pay off the infraction or set up payments, they can adjudicate that, and then you can go get your license back, and then. Um, it'll probably be negotiated to the point where you don't have a criminal offense here. Okay, so it's kind of up to you to get that done. Um, and I always ask Mr. Rusnak how much time he thinks it would be appropriate if it's just that one. <clears throat> I'd say six weeks. All right, so what I'll do is I'll set it over for six weeks uh, for the hearing six weeks from today. Um, and at that point, then we can address it. But in order for me to do that, I will need you to uh, waive your right to a speedy trial till that time period. Um, if you're willing to do that, I will set it out the six weeks so you can attempt to get your license back. Do you want to do that? Yes, I'm, I'm, 
kind of confuses me. So. All right. <laughs> so, so what it is is a simple process for you in, in reality in this case because you only have one court to deal with besides us, and that's Piot Municipal Court. Um, forgot what road that is. It's the River Road, is Oh, it? gosh, yeah. Anyway, no, it's no, right no, there. It's not in, River Road. It's East Main. Something. Yeah, East Main. But you go to Puyallup, um, and you go to the front counter right there, and you say, I have a ticket here I need to pay off. It's holding up my license. And if you can afford to pay it off at the time, do it, because it gets your license back immediately. Uh, in other words, you can go there and apply for your reissue pretty quickly. The other thing is set up a payment plan. Please say what they call adjudicate it. And that means you set up a payment plan. And if it's adjudicated there, then you can also get your license back. Then you have to go to DOL and get your license back. Can I get this written down? Um, I I don't uh, have a process here, but um, you can write. Uh, if you have, there's a pen right there. If you want to write, yeah, just write it on the back or something there. Um, and right in front of you in this in this. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh, that one right here. Okay. So just uh, go to Puyallup Municipal Court. Just. You tell him the number of his infraction. He may not know that either. Uh, Mr. Walls may have that up. I don't. Uh, the infraction in Puyallup is nine. Uh, is. You have his nine Z zero nine three five four eight six. Did you get that? Nine Z zero five three. That's zero nine three five. Nine Z zero nine three five. Zero nine three three five uh, four eight six four eight six. And so that's at the Puyallup Municipal Court. That's where you have to start. Okay. Okay. Once they adjudicate that, then you need to go to DOL and get your license back. That means you pay the reissue fee. I don't know if there's a retest, but probably not at this point. Get your license back. When you come back to this court, then um, we can hopefully get rid of the criminal case and reduce it to an infraction. That's the hope. All right. Okay. So as to today, um, I'm going to release you on your own personal recognizance. I'm going to set this out uh, to uh, sorry, to April 20th at 10 a.m. Make all court appearances, notify of any address change, have no law violations, do not drive without a license and insurance. That was when I got, that's what I thought this was. When the when ording stopped me, I didn't have life's been going crazy for that. Anyway, um, I have insurance yeah, right here, but my address has changed numerous times, and so I just never got the insurance card. And yeah. well, we we'll deal with all that all at the same time, okay? So this, and that's what the next hearing is going to do. So the first thing you got to do is get your license back. And in order to do that, you have to go to Puyallup first and then the Department of Licensing, okay? The, um, and do I have, has your address changed since we last, since you were uh, stopped? Is your address still the 2009 13th Avenue? Yes, it's changed. It is okay. now, just a minute, let me give it to you. It's now 1210 Daffodil Avenue Northeast. Well, in Daffodil. That's ording. But that's just temporary. I mean, so that's another thing. I'm, well, whenever I, you change an address, you, you either have to get a PO box and keep it consistent, or you have to tell the court, because that's the way you get your notices. All right, and otherwise warrants get issued. And we don't want that. Well, see, I was still at that other address, but. That's between you and Puyallup, sir. That's what I told you that before. That's something you got to deal with over there. Okay. And so what you got to do is fix it with Puyallup, and then we, once you fix it with Puyallup, then we can get this resolved, all right? So I'm going to set the, uh, the infraction uh, on the same calendar, so we're going to deal with that at the same time, and so you do not have to come back here twice, okay? Okay, so but the next time to come here is the 20th of April. Yes, and you'll get this order, so you'll know what it is. All right. All right, thank you, and we will. And uh, Mr. Mitchell, were you in the courtroom or online? 
All right, so as soon as he's done, you're up. care that yes, yes. Fill. right and i would call i don't know if, if they're open um but you could certainly call the courthouse and get information okay all right thank you sir have a good day And you are Jacob Mitchell? Yes. And you were in the courtroom this morning when I read the rights? I was. And did you understand the rights as I read them? I do. Are there any you'd like to go over at this time? No. Right. You're charged by the city of Ording that honor about 1227-2020 in Ording, Washington, that you committed the crime of operating a vehicle without ignition interlock. To that charge, a plea of not guilty is entered. Further formal readings hereby way and probable cause established based on the probable cause statement. Mr. Wallace, anything from the city? Sorry, which case is this? This is Jacob Mitchell. Uh, I would note there's a warrant that needs to be recalled. No objection to that. All right, so I will recall the warrant at this point. <coughs> um, and Mr. Mitchell, are you currently employed? Uh, not not full time. Okay, well, what are your what's your monthly income right now? Um, I'm part time, so I'm making just uh over about, about about a grand a month. All right, um, I'm going to find that you do qualify for the public defender. I'm going to appoint Mr. Rusnick to represent you. And uh, Mr. Rusnick, is 30 days fine with you? 30 days will be fine, thank you. Um, on that other one, I need to get the one I just did. All right, so I'm going to release you on your own personal cognizance. Conditions of release are making all court appearances. The next one's going to be April 6th at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, uh, notify of any address change. Have no law violations. Do not drive without license insurance. And if there is still a existing interlock order, you must comply with that interlock order. Um, do we have your current address? Have it, has it changed? No, you all still right. have it, yes. All right, so that is the order. We will see you at the next hearing. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Slaughter, are you online or in court? All right, so as soon as clean up up here, we'll bring you up. Yes. All right, go ahead and have a seat, sir. Good morning.
And you are Richard Slaughter? Yes, sir. And what's your date of birth? January 14 of 82. And did you have the opportunity to hear the rights when I read them this morning? Yes, sir. And did you understand the rights as I read them? Yes, sir. Are there any you'd like to go over at this time? Is there any what? Are there any of those rights you'd like to go over at this time? Yes, sir. All right. You're charged by the city of ordering that on or about, and it looks like uh, February 12, 2021, in order in Washington, committed the crime of reckless driving. To that charge, a plea of not guilty is entered. Further formal readings here by way of probable cause established based on the probable cause statement. I'm going to release you on your own personal cognizance. Conditions of release are making all court appearances. And we're going to set the next one for 4 6. 2021 at 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, make all court appearances, notify them any address change, have no law violations, and do not drive without a license and insurance. Do you understand those conditions? Yes, sir. Are you currently employed? I am. All right. And do you make over $1,500 a month? I do. All right. So you do not qualify for a public defender, but I do recommend that you go ahead and contact an attorney because this does carry a possible jail sentence. Okay? Okay. All right. So um, if you need any help, Mr. Russell can give you some information as well and um, and make sure you do that as soon as you can all right we're going to set this for april 6 we'll see you on that day um has your address changed since you got the ticket no sir all right so we'll send this all this information same address but we'll give you the order today okay All right, and um, and go ahead and grab the rights forms. Forgot we have those now. It's been a while. And Mr. Sprague, are you online or on the? You're here also. So as soon as it's cleaned up, we'll get you in. Good morning. And do you have the rights form in front of you? Uh, yes. And did you understand the rights when I read them and or when you went through them on that form? Yes, I did. Are there any you'd like to go over at this time? No. All right. And uh, you are uh, Joseph Sprague? Yes, that's correct. Right. What's your date of birth? 11-581. All right. You're charged by the city of Ording that on or about 2-18-2021 in Ording, Washington, that you committed the crime of driving a license suspended in the third degree. To that charge, a plea of not guilty is entered. Further formal reading shared by way of probable cause is established based on the probable cause statement. Um, what does it take to get your license back, sir? Um, actually, I, my boss is, I got a letter right from my boss. We've been contacting the lawyer to go through the process to actually get it back and because it's been a long process. And so, so I, I honestly, I don't, I don't have a definite timeline on how long it could take, but you know what it looks like, Mr. Walsh? Eight days with the waiver. I have no idea. It sounds like it's going to be. Yeah, it's it really. It's, <clears throat> there's a few different places where you know tickets out of. I have one in Oregon that's hanging it up. And okay, so what I'm going to do is if, I'm going to set this out for 90 days. But if I set it out 90 days, it means you have to waive your right to have a speedy trial, um, and and we restart it on that day. Is that something you would agree to? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set your trial date for May 4th. And that'll be 10 o'clock a.m. Um, make all court appearances, notify of any address change, have no law violations, do not drive without a license or insurance. You understand those conditions? Yes. All right. And um, is your address, has your address changed since uh, you got the ticket? Uh, no. All right. All right. Thank you. You're free to go. She'll give you the copy of the order here. Um, I am tracking the 
I don't know if I wrote the infraction on, number on there. I'm tracking the infraction, which is, uh, it is going to be uh, one to one. <clears throat> it's on the way. Thank you. All right. And ma'am, what's your name? He's on at 10 o'clock, but that's a continuance. Oh, well, you want to go ahead and take that? Actually, the waiver is up there. All right. On the counter. All right, we'll go ahead and do the Monica Dirks uh, continuance. Yeah, there's a waiver up here. It's actually, very, yeah. There it is. Else, what's the knowing? Never know when you're going to come. All right, so ma'am, we have set this out till looks like 420, and that's your new commencement date for your speedy trial. Yeah, and, you and that would be um, both cases. And ma'am, what was your name? I didn't quite hear the last McCall. Right. Let's see who else is here. It looks like we have a calendar that is. We have Jamie Gregory here. We have Mr. Pollock. What calendar is Mr. Pollock on? 930. And Monique Orell is here and Priest Smith. All right. And so on the reviews, our first one is Monique Harrell. And are we ready in her, Mr. Rusnick? Sure. Mo Monique Harrell? Yeah, we're ready on that. I don't know if there's been a disposition uh, at a specific. Yes. All right. So she's uh, I sentence. UI. There's, uh, it, it's unclear to me. It appears. Monique, can you hear us? I can. Can you hear me? Mr. Resnick, did she get an EHM? I'm, I'm not sure. Mr. Rell, are you on EHM right now? I go to EHM today at 2 o'clock. All right. And I do see that she uh, has gotten a, a recent compliance report in that court for treatment. Uh, city would ask a, an additional 30 days of EHM to be imposed. I have no idea. I have no idea. Can I just pay more on a fine? Because my son's graduation is coming up. That's why I'm doing my EHM now instead of later. I will often uh, when your son's graduation, I'll authorize that uh, while you're, I'll authorize you to go to the um, son's graduation. Um, but okay, I would. It's, it's a week long, so I have to go out of state for it. He's in Utah. So, so how long are you on EHM for the other court? 60 days starting today.
When's your uh, son's graduation day? What date? Uh, I know I leave on the I'm supposed to leave on the 14th of May and be back on the 26th because they're doing my grandson's birthday at the same time. I believe his graduation is the 20th or the 21st. All right, we will start your, you're going to be at EHM for an additional 30 days, but you're going to start it on uh, uh, June 1st, and you'll okay. be on it for the month of June. Okay. So I'm going to revoke Thank 30 you. days EHM for the violation. You start that time on EHM um, on June 1st. And it'll go 30 days from there, and you'll need to set it up a second time at that point, okay? Okay, do I set it up with the same place that I'm going through now? And why don't I'm just you, going through Algona. This, they, these organizations aren't city specific, so you can actually tell them that you're going to have a second EHM stint, and you can tell them when it starts, and they'll also be prepared for it, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, and um, Monique, just. Uh, Keep in compliance, because I don't want to keep doing this to you either, okay? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm doing really good. I'm keeping myself busy. I'm glad, and, and keep doing that. So we're going to send out, do I have your current address, Monique? Yes, you do. All right. So we're going to set this again. It's uh, 30 days of EHM starting June 1. Okay. All right, so we're sending this to your address. Thank you. All right, thank you. Am I done or do I need to stay? You're free to go. All right, thank you. And uh, Mr. Are you ready, or Mr. Pollock? Mr. Pollock. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. So why are we here, Mr. Pollock, Mr. Walls? Uh, looking for proof of treatment. Yeah, the alcohol evaluation should have come in by now. And we will see if we have it here. And is there, is there just alcohol or is also DV? Third, who did you go through? Um, I went through the Puyallup uh, Multicare Behavioral Health. All right. And um, when when were you there last? Uh, like August 2020. And, and you and you did the evaluation back then. Yeah. And how do you know that they were supposed to get it to us? Because I called them and they said that they would get it to you. When when did you call them? Like January, and then they said that because of like how long it's taking them to get through papers, that it might take up until like March to get it here. I mean, it just it just turned March, but I and I haven't gotten like I haven't been able to like reach them for a follow-back call on that. So I mean, I could try to do that too. Do you know? Have you seen the evaluation? Yeah, I actually turned it into another. I had to take it to the Eden Clock Court too, and uh, they said that there is no treatment recommended, and they accepted it. And I'm all done with Eden Clock now. Okay. Well, I, I'd love to see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not here still. Yeah, we, we, she's checked. Uh, uh, we've checked the records here. We have no evidence of it, and I don't think the prosecutor has it, and I don't think Mr. Rusnick has it. Uh, we need you to get that. Um, I, I would love to get this and get this out of our system as well if, if you're in compliance. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could make it really urgent to them when I call and say that the judge is asking for it. So maybe that will make them hurry up a little more. Then for 30 days, but I need to have it in that 30 days. So okay. Sure. <clears throat> I sent something to you? Uh, you cut out. I didn't hear that. 
I said, is your address changed since we last no, talked? No. All right. 19411. Okay. Um, yes, we have that. So we will send this. To you. All right. So in 30 days, which is actually, it's going to be April 6th. Okay. okay thank you. Have a hearing on that then. Thank you. No problem. All right. And so, Mr. Sue, who are you here for? That is. I'm not scheduled until 10 o'clock. I just got here a little bit early. This is for uh, Rios. It's going to be an entry of, of an SOC. Mr. Okay. Rios is trying to log on right now. All right. So, when they come in, we still, we're not overly uh, full right now. So, uh, when he comes in, let us know. We can get going on it. Will do. Thank you so much, Your Honor. We have Mr. Rios will be coming. Ms. McCall is in court and we can probably address that one. Okay. There's a war. Ms. McCall? Come on for. Good morning. The warrant recall and advancement, there are no objection question the warrant. Uh, right. Warrant's quashed. Uh, yeah. She does have, looks like about four tickets to resolve and then she'll have to read. Have you uh, contacting the various courts to see? Um, if you can get those adjudicated or where are you at in your? Um, well, I went to um, Seattle to do the King County um, tickets, um, but then uh, my son passed away um, and the, the program was still um, suspended until for the notice. So I really haven't done anything the past year, Your Honor. Okay. I've just been trying to deal with that. So, um, uh, but now I can take care of the issues. All right. I just need to contact them, think you all also, and make a payment to them since their program's not no longer going for the relicensing program. So what I'll do then is, uh, if you want to waive your right to a speedy trial, I will set this out for 90 days. All right, and that will be on um, the June one. And your honor, I would note that the uh, infraction that was associated with this case is one of the ones. And we will adjudicate our infraction, so I'll have her do that for you. Is adjudicate. Um, and uh, that means that this one, all you have to do is ultimately make payments on it, but right now we're adjudicating it so you can get your license back, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give you until the June 1 date uh, to work on that and hopefully you can get it back. Then I do, I am really sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. Where is she on a counter? I just don't see her. She's on the uh, number 19 of the 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, okay. Yeah, I don't need to sign off on the way. He, he doesn't need to sign off, so that's fine. And it looks like we have Mr. Rios uh, and Mr. Sue. And so do we have the SSC, Mr. Wells? I emailed that to the clerk okay. uh, just now. So if you could go print out the uh, SOC on this one, we can go okay. ahead and take that. Yep. Mr. Stewart, we're having the SOC printed out right now. Um, but sure. if you, sure. in, uh, in the interim, if you wanted to go through your colloquy regarding the SOC, I'm ready to hear it. Thank you, Your Honor. 
Your Honor, this is City of Ording v. Aaron Rios, cost number XZ06-29481. On behalf of Mr. Rios, my name is Philip Hsu. Your Honor, we are presenting the court with a 12-month stipulated order of continuance. And, Your Honor, I've gone over this statement of stipulated order of continuance with Mr. Rios. Yesterday, I was able to go over the form with him. He understands that the stipulated order of continuance is a contract between him and the city. The court doesn't really do much on it. If there is a violation, he can't plead to the court for leniency. It is, in a sense, that, a contract. Should he breach the contract, there are ramifications. And if he's in satisfactory completion of the contract, then he gets the benefit of the contract. So he understands that right now he's being charged with a crime of carrying a firearm without a concealed pistol's license. The maximum penalty for that crime is 90 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. Should he get convicted of that crime, there may be ramifications as to whether or not he can get a CPL in the future. He understands that by entering into the stipulated order of continuance, there are conditions that he needs to satisfy, and there are also important constitutional rights that he's waiving. The most important one is he's waiving his right to a speedy and public trial. He understands that the speedy trial is going to recommence approximately a year from now, and the new expiration date is going to be 90 days from that day. He also understands that by entering into the SOC, he's waiving his right to a speedy and public trial, the presumption of innocence, the right at trial to hear and question any witness who's going to testify against him, and the right at trial to have witnesses testify on his own behalf at no cost to him. There is also a requirement for Mr. Wall to present all the evidence to prove the matter beyond a reasonable doubt. He understands that should he violate the condition, there is not going to be a trial. There is going to be the police report, which the court has a copy of, and the police report is the only evidence the court is going to see to make a determination of guilt. And because it is written by the city of Ording officers, it is very likely that your honor, in the event of a violation, is going to find that he is guilty of the crime beyond a reasonable doubt. He understands that the general condition he has to abide by for the next 12 months is to commit no new criminal law violation. He has to pay the $150 monitoring fee to the court and also complete a firearm safety course before the end of the term of the SOC. And your honor, he also understands that should he change his address, he is supposed to update that with the court within 24 hours, and also he has to appear on any and all review hearing dates. And I've gone over this with him. He understands the ramification and also the benefit and the burden of this agreement. And I believe he is entering into this agreement freely, voluntarily, intelligently. If the court would let me inquire, Mr. Rios, this is all correct. We went over this yesterday. Yes. And do you have any questions pertaining to this document? No, I do not. And on the bottom of page two, where I have slash S Aaron Rios, you did give me telephonic approval to enter this signature on your behalf. Is that correct? Yes. And in the future, you are not going to challenge the validity of this document because you have given me permission to sign it for you. Is that correct? Correct. And your honor, I've also satisfied my Padilla and Sandoval requirements for entering into this agreement. We ask your honor to accept it. All right. Thank you. And he asked the questions I was going to ask you, Mr. Rios, and specifically, you understand this is a contract between you and the city, and you indicated you do understand that. If there's a violation, the city is simply going to come to me and say there's a violation. Please read the police report. Very likely, I'm going to make the finding of guilty. And you understand all that. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. So I'm going to put it all in your hands. This is a contract between you and the city. And the only way that you fail in this, it's up to you. Okay? Yes. I'm hoping there is no failure. I hope the next time we get to see this, I get to dismiss this case. Good luck to you. I have signed off in the SOC. Thank you, your honor. Thank you. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Mr. Hsu, you are free to go. Mr. Rios, you're free to go. Unless you have another case, Mr. Hsu, if you are, hang around. I do not. Thank you, your honor. Thank you, Mr. Wall. And let's see. We have Mr. Fox and Mr. Smith and Jamie Gregory. Mr. Rusnak, Ms. Gregory, I believe, was going to hire you. Mr. Gregory? Ms. Gregory. My notes indicated to you that he was looking to hire. 
All right, uh, you, Jamie, you there? Yeah, I'm here, Your Honor. All right, so were you going to be hiring an attorney, Mr. Gregory? That is correct. Uh, as of right now, I'm being homeless and paying for a lot of things that has happened. Um, I'm unable to come up with a $1,500 retainer, but I can, uh, I can start with a, I can start with a $500 uh, payment on this Friday. Are you currently employed? Yes, I am. I'm okay. retired. Okay. Mr. Gregory, how much time do you need? Uh, I need uh, about 45 days. The walls. Uh, no objection. All right, I'm gonna say for, that looks like April 20th. Um, that's gonna consider this an excluded period for speedy trial purposes. But I'm going to indicate that there will be no other continuances um, at this point because we need to get this moving. Mr. Gregory, I need, I need a new valid number for you. Okay. It's 253-316-9322. Okay. You have email? Yeah, I do. It's oh. gman, the legend, 82 at gmail.com. Gman, the L-E-G-E-N-D, 82 at, at, at gmail.com. Okay, good. And since we last talked? Same address. All right, so this is continued until 4.20 at 10 a.m. And I've indicated that this is a ex excluded period for speedy trial purposes, and that I am not going to continue this case again, so we need to get moving on it. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. You are free to go. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Cox is on. And, yes. Uh, I don't know if the court's ready. Uh, I had Mr. A, Cox and Tree Smith. I had a conversation with Mr. Cox yesterday. We have are still waiting on the eval. He, I know he did get an evaluation at Lakeside Milam. I'm not sure, Mr. Cox, did you finish the process or do you still have to go back for one more follow up interview with them? Mr. Cox, Hello? Here. Hello? Yes, now yes, we can sir. Yes. Okay, I was not informed if it was finished or not. She did not say come back. So I think it was it was finished. Can you give them a call because it's been a while? Yes, sir, I will. Two weeks. So let's go ahead and set this over <coughs> until uh, March 16th, that's an excluded period for speedy trial purposes. All right. And we have also Ann Alicia Hills, Hilton and Hillian and uh, Mr. Smith. And I actually need to speak with both of them. I probably will speak with them. First. All right, so I will have you take your laptop into the conference room and uh, Devin will go ahead and send. Uh, Ms. Hillian, we're going to send you into a breakout room uh, with uh, Mr. Rusnick. So when that pops up, head into that room, okay? Okay, thank you, Your Honor. And then uh, Mr. Smith, we're gonna do the same thing for you after she's done. Okay. Mr. Smith? And uh, also, Ms. Walker's here too. So, will you need to talk to her as well? Yeah, that's the one physical file that I do. All right, so 
Dr. Warren recall at this point. Yeah, so you'll let you'll let Devin know because he can you don't even have to come out of the room. You can probably just do it electronically. We'll send all three of those in while you're talking to those three. I think those are the only three we have here. Um, I am going to we'll take a quick recess, I guess. And not quite 10 yet. So. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we'll take a recess. And uh, when people come in, we'll we'll do the next one. All right. Your Honor. Yes. You, you're free to so, okay, so it's March 16th? March 16th, and we'll be sending you notice in the mail as well. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case.
Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. Welcome to Ording Municipal Court. Please stand by and you will automatically be connected to a courtroom when the court is ready to hear your case. <laughs> 